I've just been asked to, to, to come up um, and make a, a few words about two companies that we're involved in. One is Aqua Africa, one of the main sponsors, and also Trashy Bags. And also, this is about investment in Ghana. So we are an investor, we've been there for eight years, and we've worked with GIPC and the teams and all the people that have been around. Excuse my, my protocols, I apologize for my protocols. And we've also worked with a supporting network of the British High Commission, UK Export Finance, and everyone around that. And it is possible to invest, and it is possible to make money, and it's impossible to do very, very good things. We started off with our business, which was Aqua Africa, delivering water to 225,000 people. That's what we'll deliver by the end of next year, and that's only because of the support of the team. So the investment is there. It's a 30 million euro project, and we've been working on this project for a long time. And one of the lessons that you have to learn before you go into Ghana is to listen to what the problems are, to so you can proper the right solution. But outside of that, we looked at other opportunities, and one of those was plastic waste. We came up and we found a company that was been there for 15 years um, and it had taken 30 million water sachet bags off the streets of Accra. But the problem is the company had gone, it's a bit sad, it had gone bust. And we saw, we saw the opportunity and we realized where the market was going. We realized it added value to what we were doing as a water company. So we went in and we looked at the business. And I asked him, when I met the guy in a, in a cafe, I asked him, what, what, what do you do? He said, well, we take these water sachet bags and we make them into school bags. And I said, great. Um, so why aren't you doing business? We've got no money. We've got no orders. So OK, I'll have 2,000 school bags. And we deliver those school bags. And you can see samples of those outside. We deliver those school bags. And we thought, actually, this is really good for where we're going. What is this plastic waste? What are the challenges? And we realized the business was not correct where the marketplace. When it started the business, it was a good idea. It was an emotional. But now, you can actually make this business work if you get it right. So we spent two years building the company, paying off the debts, putting the structures in place, because we knew that if we got it right, it would be an incredibly good business. A good business in itself, a good business to be involved in, emotionally great, and actually, more importantly, the creation of jobs and the creation of a circular economy. So we basically, take off plastic waste from the streets of Accra, and we actually make them into school bags, into shopping bags, which are on the table, uh, on the chairs here as well. But more importantly, we create jobs. We employ 60 people, seamstress, working effectively in our, in our factory in Apalempe, making for stock, making products for stock, variety from school bags to wallets to carrier bags to shopping bags to picnic, bus, uh, picnic um, blankets as well. All of these, and now we're beginning to grow. Now we're exporting these all around the world, from the UK to New Zealand, to Australia, to America. And we've only just started the tip of the iceberg. We're now looking to open three new factories across Ghana. That will create nearly 200 jobs. But also the jobs not only from the seamstress that work in the factories, and we employ, I think, 90% probably are our seamstress of ladies. We do education programs. We've had in the last two months 1,000 school children coming into the factory to look at the factory. We have a green hub in the middle of um, Laboni. Right there, we saw this office, we saw this opportunity, we built this green hub. Not only for us, for other people, other supporting people in the green economy to come in. What is that circular economy? From this, we are now looking to grow from a failed business two years ago to over nearly $3 million next year. And that is exporting. That's good. <laughs> and it feels good, and it is good. This year, last year, we delivered 5,000 school bags for our charity school in the bag. That means we deliver school bags with everything in it for, for, a, for a fee that people pay, and we deliver those. We're doing 10,000 this year. Our hope is to work with the Ministry of Education to do 100,000 in two years' time. This is all the opportunity. This is waste on the ground. This is waste on the ground that you give value to, and you give value to it, that creates jobs. It creates jobs from picking up the waste, to pay people to deliver the waste, to actually come to our factory. We then take what we do off cuts, we then send it off to get pellets, we then sell those pellets. It's a full circular economy. Not only in the back of that, we thought, what else can we do? Where's the problem? The problem goes into the oceans. So let's collect the waste from the beach. 
We then also then got involved in turtle sanctuaries. We now have a turtle sanctuary that we get involved in. This is all nice, but it's all business because it adds value. It adds value to the business itself. It adds value to what we're doing. It adds value to exports, but it also shows your commitment and your partnering in Ghana, away from the main business, which will grow and develop itself in, in delivering water. The smaller business and the creation of jobs, the creation of certainty and delivery of plastic waste and making plastic waste an awareness program to education and making it valuable, then you have a business. Then I recommend people to get involved, come out, there is opportunity. So thank you for everyone. Thank you for allowing us to talk. Bill, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for them.